Okay, good morning, good morning. Oh, Jerry, I'm Jerry. Okay, uh, my yes. Uh, today we want to touch on this very, uh, very, very serious problem. Okay, in any in any situation, if a lead, leader uh, uh, a leader committed some some sin, uh, what what should the uh, the community, the the church, to do them. I think it would be wise for the church to discipline the the person. But uh, how? I mean, you you should try uh, rest by the wisdom and grace of God to restore the person, to give the person some time for repentance. Once. He or she uh, show signs of repentance, of true repentance. You can re reinstate the person now. And uh, yeah, give the person a, a second chance. Don't uh, don't overly judge the person and go and criticize on the person because it's. His or her personal life, so it is his or her life personally with God. So we we don't point finger. So if, if you feel that you are so great, uh, what happened? You you are in the person's shoe. You already committed some sin, and you are in the leadership. I mean, what? How 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 stressed will you feel, and how burdened will you feel? When the public is, uh, I mean, the, yeah, they, are, they are going, they are so, uh, if they are start abandoning you, start judging you, how, how would you feel? So the, the lesson we can get is that even our daily life, our daily friendship, our, if let's say our friend really did something wrong to us, we... We can depend on the, the the level of the person be, betrayal or the sin or whatever. If too much, then maybe we, we totally cut away from the person. If the person uh, shows signs of repentance, we give the person second chance. Oh, okay, this thing called second chance is very important. You just give the person a second chance. Imagine if you yourself did something wrong to your friend. You also want your friend to like forget, uh, for for forgive you, and uh, be you, you two, the two of you become friend again. Yeah, yeah. I I, I know. After let's say your friend betray you or do something wrong to you, then there will be a gap already. Uh, there's a crack between your friendship. But uh, give the person a second chance. To, to cure, to, to repair the gap. Uh. So, if the person, you give the person a second chance and the person still don't repent, don't, uh, don't want to, he, he or she still doing bad thing to you, then I think it's time to let go. Uh. So, maybe second chance give one time. Uh. Because some people, they, uh, at the moment, they, I mean, at the moment, they, they just because of something something bad happened between you and him or her after you I mean uh, uh, it also depends on how you want the friendship to go uh, and uh, it take two hands to crap so if the person uh, offended you but refuse to apologize refuse to acknowledge his own sin then maybe uh, you can say bye bye to the person uh, uh, second, uh, a second chance, you give the person one time. Uh. If after one time the person never, never regret, never, never say sorry, nothing. Uh, uh, yeah, you can let go of the person already. Like, not you hurting yourself also pointless, right? Oh. Uh.